Welcome to A1 Technical Videos. My name is Horace Park. Today we have a mocked up 06E carrier here with a bad valve plate on it. We're going to show you how to change that carrier valve plate, which is very, very similar to an 06D carrier valve plate change out. All right, what, what I want to show you here today as, as we change this valve plate is what you're going to see when you walk up to a carrier compressor a lot of times that has a bad valve plate. The discoloration of a, of a head or the chalkiness of one head will indicate that that particular head is reaching over 300, 350 degrees. So if you see where this one is, where you have two heads or one head that is a normal color and one that's chalky, that will be the one that is, or the hot head is the one with the problem. So this is to simulate what you would normally see when you see a bad valve plate. This is it. Next we're going to remove the valve plate. After you've loosened all the bolts, you just want to drive the head straight down, tap on it very lightly straight down. This will loosen the valve plate up. Never hit the valve plate from the side here or here. Always hit straight down onto the valve plate. Next we're going to remove the head bolts. Keep in mind this compressor is for simulation purposes and for technical purposes. After removing the head, this is what you see when you have a bad valve plate. This, this area here is carbon built up from the oil from reaching over 350 degrees. The next key point, and if you kind of forget anything, is, is the key point is to always remove the head and the valve plate very gently on your carrier 06D and 06E compressors. So there's a little area here with a little tab you want to lightly lift up on it, jar it loose from the compressor. This valve plate has a metal, a metal uh, gasket. Some of them are metal, some of them are fiber. The metal ones usually bolt onto the valve plate. This, this is a bad valve plate. What we have missing here are one of these reeds. This is your, are your discharge reeds. This is your discharge flapper right here, or valve reed. And this is the one that's bad. Gas is seesawing back and forth through here, generating heat, which, which allows it to reach over 350 degrees. After that, you want to remove your gasket, of course. These are new, this is our new valve reeds here. We're going to remove the valve reeds. This is the backer. On an 06E, it has a backer on your medium temp and air conditioning compressors. On your low temp compressors, you would only have one reed. It would be this on a low temp machine. But we're going to remove both of these. Here. Then we're going to open up our A1 06E valve plate kit. We have these in inventory, readily available. After we scrape the gasket off of here, we're going to leave it on for simulation purposes. After you would scrape this gasket off, you would reinstall this gasket. Other areas to look for on a bad valve plate, say you take this valve plate off and you find nothing wrong with the valve reeds, this area here is prone to blow. When it hydraulics liquid oil or refrigerant, something's going to give. Usually it's in this area here, or it will break one of the reeds which I showed you earlier or it will blow the gasket that's on actually on top of the valve plate in this little ribbed area right here. Those are the three things that blow when hydraulic and oil or liquid refrigerant. Your valve plate kit, your suction valves, this, that's what these are here. It'll also come with these pins. Please, if your pins are good here, I do not recommend removing the pins. You have to have a pin puller to pull these pins out. If you don't, you will damage them or break them, and then it, you're just out of luck. That would be the best way to put it. So I do not recommend touching these valve pins here if they're in good shape. For the sake of speed, I'm going to leave these here and reinstall the ones that came off of it, which were new. First, you want to install your backer or the half reed. Then you want to install the suction reed. 
Remember, these backers are only on medium temp and air conditioning compressors and not on a low temp compressor. These are brand new reeds. We just set this up for simulation purposes. Then you want to pull out your A1 valve plate here, which has, has been surfaced on both sides. Brand new valve reeds installed. The backers clean. Brand new head bolts. After we put our gasket on here and our, and our suction reeds, we want to reinstall the valve plate. Let's see here. We want to get all the little old carbon out of there. Install the gasket, uh, the valve plate. Like I said, these pins here are very critical that you line those up with these pins here. Those are case hardened pins and they break very easily. As we know, we had the valve plate flush, it snapped in place. We're going to lay our gaskets up here. And we're going to pick up our head here. Each, the, mo the other important thing that you want to remember are that each head has a different gasket on a carrier compressor. I'm going to lay this head down here and we're going to find the correct gasket. As you see, this gasket will go here, it will go here, it will turn every which way you would like to install that gasket. But even if we lay it on here, it's the wrong gasket. This portion here is not supported. So this would be the wrong gasket for this head. This would be the center head gasket. This, this is the same way with this gasket here. It would go like this, but it's the wrong gasket. The key point to install, and once you find the correct gasket, which this one would fit this way, but the most common area, the most common, people will turn the gasket upside down like this. All the bolt holes line up, but the gasket is not right. That is a very, very common problem that people turn the gaskets upside down on the carrier compressors. What I want you to see is that this head has a dimple in it, and your gasket has a dimple in it. They will line up. Once I put the, find the correct gasket for the head, put the, the gasket on the head, everything matches up, the dimple matches up with the dimple on the head, then we know we have the head and the gasket correctly. Very, very important on carrier compressors to match the gasket up to the head, pick the head then up, and install the head onto the compressor. This, of course, is after you've scraped the gasket to make sure that the surface of the head is gasket free. Now, usually after I get through installing the, a, a new valve plate on an old compressor, the first thing I usually do is open up the discharge valve first and see how much gas, if any, I have coming into my suction cavity. You should not have any, maybe very, very little gas flowing back through the discharge side into the suction side if all the valve plates and gaskets are good. These bolts will torque to about 90 foot-pounds. After you've assembled the compressor, open your discharge valve up. See how much gas comes out your, your suction side. Thanks for watching.